wish me luck. So, here we go. Portland, uh, right outside Everyday Music. Uh, it's kind of a flash trip to Portland. Didn't realize until like two weeks ago that uh, I was going to be able to come up here. So, yeah, I've got a bag full of CDs strapped to my shoulders here to uh, trade in. I did some spring cleaning in my CD collection. Ended up with, oh, a few dozen discs to hopefully get rid of. So, yeah, see if I get any money for them and uh, see what kind of goodies they have. I can uh, maybe take care of some of my wish list. Well, hello everyone. I am in Portland on my last oh, three hours of my whirlwind two-day trip to Portland. Um, didn't know that... I was out of breath, sorry. Didn't know that we were coming up here until just a couple of weeks ago and it was just an overnight thing. Uh, yeah, I got up here at uh, about 10 o'clock yesterday morning and had time to visit two of the uh, the two everyday musics in town found a few goodies I had a big stack of CDs to trade in I got 40 bucks in trade credit for those so uh, that was good that was a lot of fun and uh, yeah, I've uh, found quite a bit of stuff I uh, can't think of what it is off the top of my head so I will have a an at home video to show you all the things I got so uh, but yeah I am now walking toward the uh, Music Millennium up here. Uh, it's a gorgeous morning out here. A little bit chilly. I've got my sweater on, but uh, not a cloud in the sky, as you can see. Gorgeous day. And this is a very, very pretty neighborhood w walking through. Uh, oh, told you I'm out of breath. Uh, it's another five blocks to uh, Music Millennium, so this will be one of the spots that I cut out for editing purposes. Uh, oh, pretty rosebush. Look at that. Okay, not roses, but, you know, pretty flowers. So, yeah, I did film some stuff yesterday, but I had a really stubborn, bad headache that I could not shake for the life of me yesterday. So, uh, the footage that I did film, the very little of it, was kind of crappy. So, you might see some of it uh, interjected in here somewhere. I'm probably a little bit early for Music Millennium. Uh, it's just shy of 10 o'clock, and they don't open till 10, so... I tried to take my time walking here, but I'm usually a fast walker, so... But, uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's, this was almost too fast a trip. Uh, it, it's kind of a whirlwind trip. Uh, you know, basically 24 hours in town, that was about it I could have. Which gave me about two hours max at each store, which I like to have more time to browse, honestly. So, uh... But, yeah, it's been fun. I found some goodies. Uh, got my money's worth on trade-ins. And uh, I tried to walk slowly here. I'm a little bit ahead of time. It's still a quarter to uh, quarter to ten, and uh, Music Millennium here doesn't open till ten. So uh, I'm just going to be hanging out for a few minutes, I guess, until the doors open. So I will update you with what I find in here. So uh, thanks for watching. So yeah, that is just about the extent of the usable footage that I filmed while I was up in Portland. I was hoping to do more of a vlog-style thing to film more, uh, but the truth is, and forgive me if I repeat myself too much here in the uh, at-home portion of the video with what I said on location, uh, but I was suffering from a headache on the first day of my trip. I could not get rid of it for the life of me. Uh, took Advil and whatnot, tried to relax, and it just couldn't go away, so that first day's footage was kind of useless. And so I, I made up for it. I redeemed myself a little bit with the uh, uh, footage on Friday. But uh, yeah, it just kind of didn't present itself. One of these days I will film a really good Portland vlog style video for you. Trust me on this, I will. I'll, I'll do my best. But uh, yeah, it was a whirlwind trip. Uh, we left home uh, Thursday morning at about 8 o'clock. It's about a two hour, a little bit over two hour drive. So we got up there about 10 o'clock and we were on our way home by noon on Friday. So I had literally just a little bit over 24 hours. And with the getting from point A to point B, you know, the transportation from here to there, as well as, you know, sleeping, of course, and eating and all the other stuff, it pretty much left me with 
about two hours, a little over two hours maybe, at each of the three record stores that I really wanted to visit. So, uh, and I did not get to Powell's Books this time. Uh, that's when I have to choose between record stores and a bookstore, you know which one I'm going to choose. I mean, duh. So, uh, but yeah, I did manage to pick up a bunch of goodies and I took a stack of probably three dozen CDs in to trade in, as I mentioned, I think, in the first clip there. And I got 40 bucks in trade value for them, so I figured that was that was a pretty good, uh, that, that goosed my uh, spending money there for a pretty good little bit. So, but yeah, I thought I'd run down some of the uh, goodies that I got. I decided to pick up uh, Marina's new album, uh, Marina and the Diamonds, formerly known as. As I'm adding this to the list of uh, albums that I really want to get to, to listen and absorb and review on my channel. Yes, despite my list already being, you know, half a dozen items, I couldn't go without picking this up. I've really gotten into Marina and the Diamonds previous stuff very, uh, very much in the last couple months. And then uh, I picked up Weezer's debut album, the Blue Album. I was really hoping, and for some reason I was expecting Music Millennium to have the two-disc deluxe version, but they, they disappointed me in that respect. So yeah, I had to uh, satisfy myself with the standard edition. Yes, I, apparently I have uh, experienced my Weezer Awakening. I tried them at least twice over the last 20 years, and for some reason they just kept on not clicking. But in the last three weeks, I've gone from having zero Weezer albums to five. So I guess Weezer has finally clicked with me. I, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. don't know what what, what gives with the timing or whatnot. So, uh, But yeah, I'm really enjoying Weezer stuff lately. So... Uh, and thanks in part to Noah, and no thanks to Sam and his Weezerphobia for helping me get into Weezer. Uh, just kidding, Sam. And then one group that I had been meaning to try out, I picked up their Greatest Hits CD for I think it was a dollar or two dollars, and really enjoyed their stuff. I had listened to their stuff a long, long time ago back in the early 90s when they first came out, but it kind of wasn't my thing, but I've grown to appreciate the genres surrounding this genre recently, so I thought I'd give them an another try. Bela Fleck and the Flecktones. They are basically a bluegrass inflected jazz band, so bluegrass, I guess you, you could call them. Uh, instrumental mostly, and so yeah, I picked up their first, second, third, and fourth albums. There we go. Uh, all for just five bucks a piece, so yeah, I figured really dive into them since I loved, as I said, their greatest hits so much, I decided to give them a try. And this uh, next one, Big Runga. She is a New Zealand, I believe, uh, singer, songwriter. And her big hit that she is known for here in the States is called Sway. And it was used back in the early 90s, no, late 90s, I think, in a bunch of TV shows and movies. I think it was on Dawson's Creek. I think it was in the American Pie, the first American Pie movie. And But yeah, it's a, a big hit. But I've listened to her, some of her other stuff, and she's actually a very good singer. I, I, I like her voice. There's something about her voice that I really like. And there's a lot more to her than that first song, So than that one song. So yeah, I got her first album, uh, Beautiful Collision, her second album, Drive, and her third album, Birds. Uh, two of them were $2 a piece, and the other one, uh, that made up for the other one being $6. So hey, why not, right? And then this next one here, I tried him out several years ago, and I thought he was okay, uh, but I didn't like him enough to uh, hang on to his CD. It fell victim to one of uh, the CD purges that I had been doing at that moment, uh, not unlike the the bigger CD purge that I just did. Uh, Miles Kane, he is a British uh, singer-songwriter, and so I picked up his, both of his two albums, and I might not normally, you know, give an artist a second try that was kind of, you know, didn't really win me over like that but this one this is kind of a, might sound silly to you but both of these are the japanese versions of his albums with and each one has i think three bonus tracks on it and so i mean i just kind of i'm kind of a sucker for japanese cds especially when they're what were they five dollars six dollars a piece and in extremely good condition pretty much spotless cds and they still had the ob strips both of them so i figure i'll give them one more try and if not, I might be able to get a little bit more for their CDs, for his CDs, if I end up, end up trading them in or selling them on eBay or whatever. So, And then uh, I found a Jamie Cullum album that I had been missing, and only for $1.95. Uh, Interlude, this is, I believe, his most recent album, 2014. And I just found out that he is putting out, finally putting out a new album later this summer. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for Jamie Cullum to put out a new album. And then uh, Michelle Branch. Uh, I've, I was a fan of hers back in the early 2000s with her first two albums, 
and this is her first album in 12 years, 14 years, something like that, and I never bothered trying to listen to it, so I picked it up, uh, $5.00. And then I filled a gap in my uh, John Legend collection, Evolver. Uh, uh, that was the one, I believe, John Legend album that I was missing. And then the one Chantal Kravyazuk album I was missing, I found. Uh, she is a Canadian singer-songwriter, so uh, pick that one up. And then uh, Sondra Lerke, he is a Norwegian singer-songwriter that I, uh, I think I've mentioned before on my channel. I found his uh, Duper Sessions album with... Uh, Sondra Lerke and the Faces Down Quartet. He named that group after his first album called Faces Down. And then one of his more recent albums, Heartbeat Radio. Yeah, I just got them so I don't have the titles memorized, sorry. But uh, yeah, and they were these were five bucks a piece. So uh, yeah, I like Sondra Lerke and I'm not uh, afraid to add to uh, my collection of his stuff. So, And then I decided to pick up a few that uh, I had never heard of. So. I've taken a couple of gambles here, trying music sight unseen, or I guess in this case sound unheard. Uh, a group called Magic Man. This is from 2012, I think? 2013, 2014. And I looked them up on Wikipedia just very briefly. They appear to have some some synthwave elements to them, so I don't know. Noah, you might check these guys out. They might be up your alley. I don't know yet because I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, I, I haven't had a chance to listen to any of these yet. And then a couple of imports that I found in the uh, clearance bin in the jazz section. So ostensibly they're jazz, so they might be more pop, who knows. But they were about $1.95 each, so I figured I could take a chance on them. Uh, Frederica Stahl, uh, she is, this is a French import. Uh, I guess she is a French national. I mean, her name is not French. She's, I believe she is German uh, ethnically, I guess you could say, but French, I believe. I'm only guessing here, and I'm rambling, so... Uh, but yeah, the songs are in English, so I figured, you know, for $1.95, what do I have to lose? And uh, similarly, a guy named Mario Biondi, uh, he is Italian, as you could tell by the name, and this is actually a Polish import, so go figure the connection on that. But uh, but yeah, I figured uh, give him a try as well, and this actually, this CD actually features appearances by Al Jarreau and Shaka Khan, so that was a pretty much a selling point right there, and especially for $1.95, you know, what have I got to lose? So. Anyway, that uh, pretty much takes care of the, the highlights of my finds up in Portland. I had a, another great time. I mean, I mean, Portland is a city that it is hard not to have fun in, especially if you're a music shopper. As I've mentioned before, uh, check out my past Portland videos uh, for more. Uh, but yeah, as it was almost too short a trip this time, uh, yet I, it's hard for me to spend less than two hours, or to limit myself to two hours, in stores that I can only get to uh, three times a year, maybe four. So, yeah, it was kind of difficult, but it uh, at least it helped me curb my spending habits, which uh, that can go a little overboard, I have to admit. So, uh, oh, but before I go, let me quickly mention that my fresh, brand new collaboration with the quotable Shyok, in which we discuss uh, Sigrid's album Sucker Punch, is now live, so go check it out. My, uh, the link to Shyok's channel is in my description below, and also I have a playlist that you can get to from my YouTube homepage. It's called Tom Elsewhere. It is uh, my all. It has links to all the videos featuring me that are on other YouTubers' channels. So hopefully that list will continue steadily growing. It's only at three right now, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing these collaborations. Hopefully this was the first of many with Shyok. He's a great YouTuber. Go check out his channel and subscribe to it, and subscribe to the other YouTubers whose channels are featured in that Tom Elsewhere list. Please, you can't go wrong with those guys. I wouldn't collaborate with them if I didn't believe in their content. But anyway, uh, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I appreciate feedback, whether about this video or anything on my channel or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter, and you can find a link to my Twitter feed in the description below, so check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to, as I said, visit my friends and fellow YouTubers channels, which are also linked to in the description below. They're all great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.